Hey everyone, how you all doing? Just a little video from me. So a few weeks ago, you probably noticed that I did, um, uh, I bought a Class 73. Down there, look. Oh, yeah. But the slight problem was that, from what I could see of it, the tyres were loose, so it's not really run. Um, I've not done any running in on it, and I've not really... Um, well had time to spend on it um it also there's a few things wrong with it as well which i'm hopefully going to try and sort out today so this is the video of me trying to sort it out so um yes we have a few other locos here trying to sneak in the 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 test board's a little bit of a mess at the moment because i've not really done anything on it so this is really going to be the first the first bit of work i'm still waiting for baseball to be delivered not a happy chappy at the moment because it's supposed to have been here last Tuesday and I'm going to have to phone them up and say, like, look, look, you know, what's going on? So, um, yeah. So the baseball is a bit of a workshop at the moment. So, um, yeah. So, right. I'm going to get this out and we're going to have a quick look at it and um, we'll see if she can run better. So that there is the problem. It looks as though... Tires loose. So I'm going to have a quick look and see what I can do. So I've just taken the top off. That's the top. I actually painted yellow inside and then just spray blue down the side. She's a lovely little loco. Very basic. Just put that in there. And then this steel block fell out on the floor, basically. So, yeah. Um, it's a bit noisy, that. And literally keep that away the track. And then when I ran it, the tire came off so that's the tire that's one of the tires and that's where the tire was in there the wheels do need a bit of a clean so i've got to look at trying to clean them as well so um they don't have traction tires on them but yeah they do those two there so I'm going to try and undo the two screws and take them off, uh, take the bogey off, and then hopefully, he says, hopefully, try and get um, get a new set of tyres on, and we'll see how we go. To say it's a fiddly job is an understatement. I've managed to get this tyre on here, this one. Managed to get that one on. That one's on. This one. Um, this one here is going to be a little bit more to get on. Uh, strangely enough, this one here, this one, I actually put it on with the tire on already, but then I thought, hold on, that's not right. So it's such an easy fit. So I had to take that off and then take the tire off and that tire... And that's what that tire is like at the moment. Ooh, where is it? There we go. That's what that tire is like at the moment. It's very, um, it's brittle. It literally is brittle. So, um, yeah, I've got my, I ordered a set of tires. A set of tires. I ordered 11 millimetre. Where is it? There you go. Cheltenham Model Centre. Large 11 millimetre external diameter tires. And they do say on the back. They're not, I don't think, it doesn't say anything about them being on the 73, but it's, um, yeah. So um, hopefully they'll run. If not, then um, plan B, which I don't know what plan B is. So it's also good that, I've got to get myself one of these little magnifying glasses things with the lights on it sort of thing that you can look down at, you know, because I'm blind as a bat. I'm my, I'm getting older and my eyesight's going. <laughs> so basically, I've got my reading glasses on. 
So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. you got to have a laugh, really, sometimes. But, yeah. So, hopefully, if I can get that all running and careful not to break the wire that leads to the thing, otherwise, I've got to learn how to solder. Yeah, which is going to be fun. Um, and then, basically, um, I'm going to give it a bit of an oil as well. So, and then she'll get a 30 minute running. So, um, and then hopefully this will be the major one, uh, the loco that has, has to have the repair, which is, this is, the, this is red. So I've got a, I've got a little chart and I'll, I'll grab a photo of it and I'll, I'll do, basically it lists every loco that I have and it's a maintenance thing and it's kind of a thing that I really want to do. The tires also have the wheels also have to be cleaned as well, which I'm going to sort of see. I think you can just clean them up with a little bit of thingy. I have a, I think I really should join a forum. I think to find out from people what they what's the best thing that they do to, um, to clean to do stuff. You know the best things. And I know the other thing you can also look on YouTube and that and, you know. But you know, I'd, I'd like to sort of sort of try and figure out how we can do it you know you you know you have to learn somehow but yeah definite thing so if anyone if anyone wants to send me <laughs> literally i've got a torch and i've also got a light as well <laughs> it's quite light out today the sun's in here but yeah it sheds a little bit extra light so i can't really do any maintenance work in the afternoon or evenings because the light is just dire um so yeah i shall uh hopefully uh have that sorted in the next couple of minutes he says hopefully so obviously the bogey the bogey unscrewed as well so that's the bogey frame so that's pretty cool and the two screws are there next to the 50 so um, yeah it's all fun it's all part of the learning experience so if i want to do model railways then I want to try and repair them as well. So learning to solder, yay. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So um, yeah, we'll see. Right, let's carry on. So traction tires are on. Bogey frame is back fixed. Uh, excuse the noise outside. They're cocking up the road junction more for the cyclists. So um, yeah, so yeah. This leaves me now to turn her over. We actually went around the other way. Just this is side where the wheels are. I'm not going to put the weight in there yet. Right, she's on. So we're just going to turn the power on the controller. Ooh, turn it away. Stops at the point where, which is fair enough. Well, the, I think the the actual pickups need cleaning a bit, but from what I can see of her, she she seems to be running okay to a degree. It just needs, yeah, it it, it just needs. The, the, the wheels need to clean. So, right, what I'm going to do is shut that down there a second. So, I've got some oil. Just gonna have a bit of oil. Put some oil on just on the cogs there and on the wheels as well, the wheel axles, and then hopefully that'll all that'll all seep through. And um, 
Cool. Yeah, hopefully that'll be fine. So, right. Actually, I've just put the old steel, steel block in. That is a hell of a steel block. And basically, I've not oiled it or anything. It's it is it, it's running better. I've not put any oil on it, which I will do because it looks a bit dry. Yeah, I do have a few HST power cars. So just need to wait it back in there to get it going again. But. That seems OK. So I'm going to do a little bit of oil. So it looks a bit, it looks as though it could do some. So, yeah. Right, it's going to be fun. Not a lot. Just give her a bit of a run. I'll do the axles in a bit. Camera work is shoddy because I'm on the mobile. So, um, yeah, but that's cool. Power socket. HT power cars. Another one there. I think that one there. That's the, that's the power car. These three are all dummies. And they've got the MPV 50. 31 and all the other locos are all in their boxes behind me but i thought you know i was a bit of a spare today so i thought well let's give it a go you know and if it doesn't work then okay we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do plan b but it seems to have worked and we'll go from there so i'm going to put the top on and then i'm going to turn her upside down um actually i might do a little bit of oiling on here but um yeah let me um, sort this out and uh, I'll be back. So a few weeks ago when I went to Model Railway Solutions, I saw these on the floor and they were selling them for 4 95 This is uh, basically a loco cradle out of foam. This is foam. Foam block there, two foam blocks there and one there just to hold it, well, say so it doesn't keep moving. Rigidity. It's really good. It 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 four ninety five instead of paying what thirty fifty or quid. So yeah, it does the job. It does the job. So yeah. So I've not oiled it yet. I've oiled some more on the, the oiled some more on the cogs. Um, but I've not oiled. I've not cleaned those. They need a little bit of cleaning these pickup wheels these wheels here they need definitely need a bit of cleaning so um, it's not the best idea for a, to use a cotton wool bud but yeah until i find a, a better solution then we'll, we'll see but yeah that's going to be clean the next job is though i'm just going to oil just in in that area there in, in here it's the cogs try not to get any oil on the wheels because that does not help one bit so i've done a little bit of cleaning caught wool buds are evidence of that that the the wheels were um indeed i've cleaned them up as best as i can but yeah they um yuck i've also given it a little bit of a clean on top it's still a bit dusty but it needs a little bit more of a wash so apparently just let get a little cotton wool buds and um you can see there's a lot of um 
a lot of dust around that area so so um yeah but she does seem to be a fair bit better have a listen Yes, that is a mini Henry Hoover. The wheels as well, the tyres seem to be going well. So it's the electric motor smell, but yeah. So the next thing, I'm just just gonna give give us something to run with, um, and then after that, we're gonna do a thirty minute. That one is not. We're gonna do a thirty minute running session with her. So I'll just run around for thirty minutes, fifteen minutes each way. not struggling with the tyres so there you go I'm happy and no the HST doesn't light up the power car the lights don't light up in the direction of travel so I'm pretty impressed with that <laughs> So, um, yeah. Oh, wow. Really enjoyed that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you, the, the, I will show the, the little loco maintenance sheet as well that I have as well. Um, it's just basically for records for me. So this will now go as running 30, the, the running that's been used. Um, uh, um, it's been ran in, it's been oiled. The tires have been changed. Yeah. So it's a lot easier than what I thought it would be, sort of thing. I was really, um, <clears throat> how can we say, I was really bricking it, so to speak. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of happy. That's um, that's all sorted. So um, yeah, need me leave me now. I'm gonna sort her out by just giving her a run in for thirty minutes, and then um, yeah, she's ready to go which is really, really cool. I've got, um, I think I'll check the maintenance schedule on the other thing, but we're going to go to the maintenance schedule next and I'll just quickly give you a run through. If This is what I'm going to be doing with it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So my first ever bit of maintenance. So, well, yeah, changing tires. Yeah, it's not very, but I was bricking it. So um, yeah, I didn't think I was going to get it done, but um I did, and I've lost, and I was frantically looking round, there we go, for the tyres, traction tyres. So, yeah. Oh. Right, anyway, I will see you in a bit. Bye again. Right, so, literally, we've come into the PC room, and this is my little database sheet, which I use for listing um whether the loco's new pre-owned all in class order whether it's been ran in or not um oiled data when it was oiled and the date i last used it and if there's any outstanding outstanding works for the 73 which is this one here which is there needs traction tires oiling and running in um so yeah, that was that was a job that needed to be done. Um, then then the, then the final list is what the usage and that would be mixed freight charter work for um, the dummy power cars, charter and special freight work for the power car. Keep an eye on that one. 
um, then like mixed for the class 47s and the 37s um, yeah so um, it's just it's just basically so I can keep track of when they were used when you know and what needs to be done to them and everything so that's going to happen to every single loco that comes in so there's a list there of the locos that I have everything from the class 20 the 31 the 33 the 37 the power cars um which the only one which is not the power car is um 43168 that's the actual power car that's the lima power car the other lot are all dummy some of those sneeze <laughs> excuse me didn't mean to blow your ears out um so yeah it's just that now that the 73 requires it's had the traction tires put on it's been oiled and it's been ran in and it's uh, it's better it, it runs a lot better than what it ever did so yeah that's pretty cool um but there are exceptions obviously the smoky joe saddle tank loco the mpv and the hornby class 66 they've not they've been run in but they don't need oiling the same with the class 20 as well um just definitely does not need oiling because basically it, it's been well oiled it's 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 leaking oil so much has been i think they've they when they oiled it they overawed it but it's good it's a quiet runner it's nice so um yeah so Perhaps the 73 and 33 can be running together now, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but there are stuff that still needs to be oiled. Um, the 33 needs oiling. Um, so yeah, but as and where I've also got their, their manufacturer numbers as well. So the Lima um, dummy power cars, I've no idea what they are. Um, same with the Hornby one, because I didn't have a box of them, so they're all unboxed. But yeah, this is just a, a, a little quick little quick maintenance sheet of literally all the locos that I have and what needs to be done to them so I will be updating the uh, traction tires and oil in the next one to look at really would be the 37 because it just sounds a bit ropey and it just doesn't sound right um it might just need oiling and that so um oh it has been oiled I have oiled it um it's been running as well so it just needs a little bit of a look at see what's 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 wrong um but yeah there's the 33 needs oiling i think the 40 there's a couple of thought 47s as well which i've not oiled them so i did the running in a few weeks before i i got the any oil on that so um yeah but that's it so if you have enjoyed it give us uh this little video um would there be more of them possibly um let me know comments and everything and if you've got any hints and tips just put them down in the comments because i could really do with them could really do with the help sort of thing in some respects so um yeah just starting out and um yeah all right so if you have enjoyed it leave a leave a leave a sub hit the bell icon and leave a like and comment as well so um, yeah thank you all very much and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye